Hello everyone, CCLRGuy2012 here and today I'm going to be doing a setup tutorial for the Traintech PC2 quad point controller. Hello everyone, CCLRGuy2012 here. Now, anyone who has been following me on Facebook or Flickr will know that I've recently started building a new layout. And this is why I haven't uploaded any videos to do with anything recently. But, now the layout is to a decent stage, I now have the time to start doing videos again. I've decided to start with a setup tutorial slash review of the OneTouch DCC point controller. Um, this is it here, and I'll be right back once I've got together the tools that you will need to install this item. Oh, and I'm back with all the tools you should need. Um, what you're going to need, um, you've got, uh, I've got two different colours of wire here, black and red. And you're going to need wire strippers, a flathead screwdriver, some screws for fixing or whatever you want to use to fix the thing. Um, and now you can either use solder and a soldering iron to connect into the DCC bus or whatever you're connecting it to. Or you can use chop blocks. I'm going to use soldering because I find it more reliable if you, as long as you do it right. If you don't want to use a solder iron, it's fine. Just use a chop block. Okay. Uh, I'm now going to fasten it to the bottom of the baseboard and I'll be see you under the baseboard. Okay, bye. Hello and I'm back. Okay, I've got the um the decoder is now made, mounted to the bottom of the baseboard. Um, you don't have to mount it to the bottom, it's just a good idea to do it if you want to keep it out of the way. Um, so this can't be seen from above. Okay? Um, I've got the two DCC power bus wires going in here. It's going to two um, screw connectors which are put with a flat blade screwdriver. I've got the three wires from a Pico surface mount point motor here. Um, I wired them off, off camera because it just because of where the camera is, all you'd see was the back would be the back of my head when I was screwing the connectors in. So now that's connected up, um, I'm going to show you how you how to program it. I'll be back in a sec. Right, the power is now on, and as you can see, all four LEDs have lit up as they should do. If they if none of the LEDs light up, it, you need to use a good idea to check your power connections to the decoder. If only some of them light up, it might be an idea to give Train Tech a ring and see what they can do for you. Um, as you can see, all four LEDs have lit up. Now to program it, you need to press the button, it says the alert enabled the learn button, and all four lights start flashing. Now, that, now that, what happens now if you program it is it will give each address a simultaneous, each channel a simultaneous address. So, program if I try to program now 60, I get channel 1, 60, channel 2, 61, and so on and so on. But what you can do is program each address individually, which is very useful. So what you, to do that, all you need to do is you need to press the learn button until the LED flashes next to the channel you want to use. Now I want to use channel 1, so I'm going to leave that blinking, and I'm going to take you up to the controller and show you how you program it. And I'm back and I've got the controller with me. And in the shot you will be seeing the point that we are going to program. Now to program the um, train tech point decoder, all you need to do is select the address that you want to program. And all you have to do is press the, dir the direction button. Either the direction buttons, it does, what or, depending on which one you press, that is the one that it will you, if you press that button again, it will energize channel 1. You press the other button, it will energize channel 2. It's a bit complicated, but you'll get the hang of it once you use it. So, just going to press the button. As you see, the point changed. I think the decoder is now programmed. Really simple. No complicated CV writing or anything like this. I really do recommend this and all the train tech range. The train tech one touch DCC system, it's all the same. Same programming for all of it. I've actually got a signal just here, which is a train tech um, train tech one touch signal, and that is actually 
I've set that up a while. That actually works with the point. It's a junction signal. People may not. People may be thinking that's not the right place to signal. I don't care. It works. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this and found this useful. Please feel to comment, and subscribe, and give this video a like. I'll see you guys later. CCLR Guy 2012 out.